Today, you guys, we are going to talk about something that I needed to bring the experts in for because I literally have zero experience. Welcome to another episode of the Hilton Head Island cast, powered by Palmera. So it's golf. And I'm, I have to admit straight up, I have, again, literally never played a round of golf. I have, in fact, gone to a uh, putting green. Is that what it's called? Like a miniature golf course? No, to hit balls into the big. Oh, a driving range? A driving range. range. Okay, see, you're understanding my level of ridiculousness. I've been to a driving range one time. It made me crazy. Um, I have zero skill, so frustrating. Um, and so there's that. I don't even actually really enjoy putt putt. So yeah, you're wrong for that. I know that it makes my children crazy and I will tolerate it while I'm with them. But anyways, so fair listeners, I have brought two people to you one you know, one you don't, um, who know much more about golf and are ready to share some fantastic golf hacks with you. We have Chris. Hello. And Hope. Hello. Thank you guys for joining me. You're welcome. Okay. So, again, <laughs> as I've said, I am ridiculous um, and have zero golf experience. But why don't you guys tell me some of your golf experience? Hope we're going to start with you. Okay. Well, I'm actually really nervous. I've never talked into a microphone before. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't think so. You're doing um, fine. Okay. So, I started playing golf when I was 14 and played on the high school team. And then I went to college to do professional golf management. Nice. At Mississippi State, um, where I just kind of, that was my life. I didn't have a lot of other hobbies, so <laughs> I um, taught junior golf. I did junior golf tournaments in college, like put them on, not played in them. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I, <laughs> yeah, I did um, an internship where I did golf media and social media. And Where was that? I did one in Hong Kong and one at the 144th Open at St. Andrews. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, not to brag. World <laughs> um, traveler. <laughs> no, that's just legit expertise yeah, right no there. Kidding. Well, I mean, about like being snarky on the internet about it, <laughs> at least. Um, <laughs> and then I worked in, I graduated college and worked in golf. Uh, I worked at a golf academy and then I worked for, I ran junior golf tournaments for a year and a half. Awesome. And now I'm here where I just enjoy it. Yeah, right on. All right, Chris. Well, I actually played junior golf. So uh, growing up on Hilton Hen, right, that's like yeah. it's little league for golf. And uh, <laughs> my my grandfather was adamant oh, that I My become, God, I wish someone learned... had pictures of you doing that. For yeah, I'm sure there's something floating around somewhere. Mm. Um, but I'm terrible at it. Uh, but you enjoy was, it? But, yeah. And you know what? When I was a kid, I didn't enjoy it because I really wanted to be good and I wasn't. And uh, so I had, you know, anger management issues when well, it came to the game oh of my that, was, that was the same thing with me, even though it was like I ended up making all my adult decisions based on golf. Right. At first, I was like, I'm literally just saying this so my dad will be happy. And I, <laughs> and I went to Mississippi State, so my dad would let me go to an SEC school and did the golf thing because of that, which... <laughs> That's sorry, awesome. sorry, Dad. <laughs> That's Poor incredible. Dad but, under the bus. but it gr- it grows it grows on you for yeah. sure. And and the, so the other thing for me was that I uh, spent uh, I don't know six months or so as a caddy. Uh, oh yes, in Kiowa, which was amazing because I got to be around the game. It is really fun to be around the game. I didn't have to uh, worry about my own abilities, and uh, I was you know outside with nice people, and I caddied for the guy who started Dockers. Which I just that's thought cool. was the craziest thing. There's lots of rich people in Kiowa. Yes. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of my And you wore the background. cutest little jumpsuit. Uh, the, like, white painter's suit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what the street name is for caddies? No. Or, like, the street gang that caddies are in? It's called Double Bag Mafia. Oh, I love it. Because ah, ah, you carry yeah, two bags. Yeah. Mm, I love it. Those are the good days when you got the double bag. Uh, I, when you were the yeah. four caddy, that was the worst. You were running a lot and having to outrun the golf carts. Not fun. No, no good. So, but yeah, so uh, so I am going to just call myself a seasoned beginner. I've never <laughs> gone past the beginner ah, stage, ah. Uh, but I have been a beginner <laughs> For, let's say, 25 years. <laughs> All right. 
So, and I play once a year on Christmas. That's when it's free. Uncle's Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're clearly gonna uh, take hope as our serious expert. Yes. On these. But be careful. Oh. We'll also like put a disclaimer on that. <laughs> <laughs> Asterisk. All right. Well, I want to hear your top three golf hacks slash tips. All right. Because I. Um, so if you were going <laughs> if to, i was gonna yeah. get into this game i yeah. want to know yeah um and i'm gonna let hope go first because she's do. a lady <laughs> okay well my first one would be the tip i would give you is know your ability and have fun okay so like you could have given me that tip when i was a kid that would have been really helpful <laughs> well, like... yeah and i mean that's honestly this is something i learned from my grandmother who is i don't know my grandmother's exact age but she would she want would... you to tell anyway yeah exactly <laughs> she's a young grandmother. Yes. And she told she was like, because I used to get really frustrated, like we were talking about. Mm-hmm. And she was like, just put down a smiley face on this hole or just put down like a circle in the oh, heart. And so it's like, brilliant. especially if you're playing on a public course in Hilton Head or you're playing somewhere where it's crowded or if you're playing people with the, that are better than you, you can still have fun. Right. All you have to do, like... It's really okay if you throw your ball out of the bunker or if you throw it out from behind a tree. A hand wedge is the, it's best, not, the best club in my yeah, bag. <laughs> exactly. It's not the U.S. Open. Just have fun, get through the hole, and right. keep up and right. worry about other things besides your score. Yeah. Oh, man, that's so good. That's I really could have used that a long time ago. I still can use that <laughs> yeah. in my everyday I like the life. idea of drawing the smiley face of the yeah, scorecard. Yeah, that's brilliant. It's, especially, like, if you're playing with better people, it's like, if we all finish the hole at the same time, we did okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Yeah. That is that's, good. That's awesome. All right, Chris, hit me with your first one. Okay, so my first one actually comes as sort of a pet peeve of mine that comes out of uh, my days as a caddy. Okay. Um, which is to take care of the greens, to to be to be a pro on the greens. You know, you don't have to be a pro on the on the tee box or in the fairway. You can, you know, not be good and still enjoy it. But when you get to the greens, you know, there's a couple of things you can do to um, just respect it and to and to move it along. So first, like this is my biggest pet peeve in the whole wide world about golf is please leave the take the flag out and put it off the green. Don't drop it on the green because the next guy is going to hit the ball and it's going to land there and it's going to kick it someplace. You know, Not good. so just take care of it. Those guys work real hard to take care of them. And the same thing with divots. You know, fix your divots. Um, you know, in the fairway too, but uh, on the green specifically. And then the other one is just to help with pace of play is to uh, to read your putt if you're going to read your putt uh, while everybody else is putting. So like, don't wait until everybody else is done for you to to crouch down and figure out it. Oh, it breaks two cups to the left. Like you could do that while everybody else is doing their thing. That's know? something. When I was teaching. Um with Scott Robbins in Dallas, Texas, just because I love him and he loves me, and I would be <laughs> remiss if I didn't mention it, him by name. If right I on, this. shout outs. We love shout but outs. But he literally would tell the kids that, and these were like really young beginning golfers, and it's like, while well, someone else is putting, get ready to putt. And in junior golf, it's so important. Like we, mm-hmm. when I was doing junior golf, we pressed play, pace of play so bad because it's yeah. so hard because it's so it's juniors, important. and they take it so seriously and with reason, but it's also like, you can kind of work your way around that. And I just remember that being drilled into me and it honestly couldn't have been Scott. It could have been someone else besides Scott, but it was someone drilled that into me where yeah, it's like, right. that's all I think about that all the time. Yeah. And, and the divots, too, <laughs> the divots, um, when we were learning in PGM, we had to take turf management and it's like one, those greens are millions of dollars. Right. Two, if you don't pop, proper, properly repair it, it takes like, months yeah. for it to fix and be back where it's just like it ruins the quality of the course yeah. so those are great so you need to understand the work that is going into this yeah. beautiful yeah. course because yeah, they are oh my gosh i mean just beautiful. like i don't know i was gonna make some analogy of not littering in a forest or something <laughs> <laughs> do it know. right i don't know it's don't, don't pee in the pool maybe yeah exactly maybe <laughs> cut this part don't do that either. don't do that Please, we're gonna put that in our next yeah. Yeah. Summer hacks. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, that's that's good. Mm-hmm. Hope, what's yeah. your number two? Okay, so my second one is one that I learned for like a year ago. Um, it's when you go. So a lot of courses, when you go, they have rules about no outside food and beverages. Right. Mm-hmm. And so it's so there are obviously ways around that, but 
There, <laughs> there are. There are also ways like if you go, you can ask about coolers. So they'll either have a cooler that can fit on your car, or the the bartender will give you a cooler to put in your car. Okay. And then it's like you're buying the cooler there. You, I think if you buy enough beer, they don't charge you for it, which okay. obviously. <laughs> That's the kind of call for I am right, these right. Right on. <laughs> um, Yeah. Well, that's, and kidding. that's also one way to get to not take yourself so seriously. Yeah, you think of, exactly. You know, four and hours to drink. just like, uh, just ask about stuff like that where I could get into this. You can, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> where you can have, um, they'll, they want to make it easier for you because that's from a golf professional standpoint or from like a golf staff standpoint, their job is to make sure you have the best experience possible. So just right. make sure you ask about stuff like that. Okay. And also, if you are going to sneak some beers in the bag, just know that people will, like the cart guys, will look in your bag if it's too heavy. So just right on. be on the lookout for right that. Uh, all right. Those are, those are good. <laughs> okay, so if I have four hours to drink yeah. and have a relaxing time in a beautiful atmosphere, I could possibly get into this. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm just going to come right around on your you, car. You could do that. You could do that. I think that's what your sister does for the most part. Well, yes. And yeah. it's... The ride is nice. Like a lot of time, I've I play a lot, but also if I go and just ride, or like if I get sick of it, it may be because of the liquid consumption. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. I have a lot of fun, and that's when you can be the best person to take care of the greens. You can be the best oh, person to ooh, tend that the could fly. Be my job. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're basically a hero. Oh, yeah, look right. at this. Yeah. All right, I'm into that. That's great. Okay, Chris. Give me your second Okay, tip. so my second one is very it, it kind of... You guys you are know, sharing some brainwaves <laughs> here. Right. Is that is how how are you going to sneak that six pack onto the onto the course? Now, you're going to, you know, like Hope said, you've got to um, be ready for them to get rejected. And you right. know what? Truthfully, like if they get rejected, just hand them to the cart guys. Like take, you know. Uh, for you. You know, but uh, here's how you do it is take a couple irons out of your bag. You're, you're not going to need, I got this from uh, golf.com and there's a great article, 27 tips or whatever. Yeah. And I'll put that in the show notes too. So everybody can uh, check the whole thing out, but you know, you're not going to miss your three iron, your four iron. Right. Okay. And you don't need six sand wedges. So take a few out and then just slide them down in, in there. It's and there. And then you're good to go. And then it's mellow mm-hmm. time. Right. <laughs> Literally on the, on that list, the title for that line item is make room for Miller. Which I think it was just hilarious. That's hilarious. But, but uh, yeah, and then, you know, you get your cooler. and I uh, love this one because, one, you really won't use all the clubs in your bag. Like, never. that's just true. Yeah. You're never going to use all the clubs in your bag. And if approximately two clubs, maybe four beers. Yeah. 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 Like, you're not... It goes back to the, you don't want to draw any suspicion. Right. But, right. and then there's another game, like, with junior golf and other things. I'm sorry, my paper's probably picking up. <laughs> with sorry. junior golf and other things, they sometimes do these games where it would be like you use one club for the whole hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, and fun. so then it's like you can kind of have that as your game where then if you're not like, well, no, I didn't play great today, but I didn't have my three iron in right. there. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. If I had had that three that iron. That gives you out of yeah. yeah. there. I like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> learning so much. That's true. I mean, you know, one of the things when I was real small, we had this great uh, little course outside of Philadelphia called Woody's. And it was a mini golf course. They had a driving range and they had a chip and putt, mm-hmm. which was the most fun. So that's where my grandfather and my dad would take me out and teach me, mm-hmm. you know, and essentially you're using, uh, you know, a pitching wedge and a putter. Mm-hmm. And what a, that's a great way to get into the game without it costing too much or, be, you know, uh, just being too serious or whatever. It was, a, right. it was well, a great time. And if you can master a chip and putt, you're going to be pretty. Like, yeah, that's short game. Short game, practice. 40% of all your shots. And that, what they say, I think it might be more if you're bad, too. <laughs> so mm-hmm. That's but, awesome. Yeah. Do we yeah. have anything like that around here? Um, no. No, not, not anymore. anymore. Uh, Hilton Head National used to have something like that. Mm-hmm. But Even, uh, well, I'm think, I think Moss Creek. Maybe it's Colleton has a par three, but those are private. Yeah, which, okay. mm-hmm. but par three, par know, three is the same pretty yeah. much. Okay. depending yeah. on and That's I don't another, another good way to do it. I don't okay. know a ton of par threes really. Yeah, not around here. Most of the stuff around here is like big league fancy. Yeah, and, and well, amazing. We're kind of known for that here. Yeah, yeah. Golfing. yeah that, that, that's true. actually yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I, it makes me feel a little hypocritical to talk about it. I don't it's know all good. That. It's beautiful though. Yeah. 
All right. Just don't knock the mini mini golf again. I'm not <laughs> knocking it. I just don't enjoy it. Well, my issue with mini golf, because I was going to say I don't enjoy it that much either because I'm like, I want to be, I want to be like, I'm going to bring my Scotty Cameron and just like show these people. But I'm also not that good at it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Like I'm, I just am probably the worst mini golf person to play. And my fiance is also, he's a assistant golf professional. And it's like. You think of like young couples going on dates to mini golf. It's mm-hmm. like that would never be what we do. <laughs> <laughs> there are many other things. To uh, do. All I know is that it's how Happy Gilmore learned to putt. True. That's, mm-hmm. that's true. Which is significant. It is. Yes, <laughs> that is. That is awesome. for sure. All right. I think, are we down to our last We're one? We're down to our last one. Well, yeah. Before we hit our last one, I want to just take a moment and uh, have a little sponsor break here mm. and say thank you again to Palmyra Vacation Club for sponsoring this podcast. They're awesome to do that every mm. month. Mm. And uh, you guys, the weather's warming up and it's time for you all to start thinking about spending your week here on Hilton Head. And let me tell you, it's going to be a good one. We've had beautiful weather already this year. It's going to be fantastic. So you need to head over to palmyravacationclub.com and check out how vacations are meant to be. Yeah. And while you're there, you can read the blog that Hope writes. Hope writes. Yes, which is just a great lead in because (laughs) are we ready for my third day? We are absolutely Uh, ready. This is flowing so well. Thank you, Palmyra. (laughs) Yeah. So I work for Palmyra. And so this next tip. I actually have a lot of knowledge on both ends because I know about the golf and I know about how vacation rates work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the tip is know, know your rates. <laughs> <laughs> know what season you're in because that affects the rates that you're going to get at public oh, golf courses okay. if you're visiting Hilton Head. Right on. So your lowest rates are going to be November 26th through March 11th, which is an awesome time to play golf. Oh, it's yeah, beautiful. beautiful. It's, yeah, it's Perfect. I mean, yeah. oh other places, actually really pray anywhere, that's going to be your lowest rates. Um, but, and then your second lowest is summer, which are the, like two. Really? So, yeah. Because it's blazing hot Yeah, because it's so yeah. hot, which yeah. is, you know, it's very hot, but also is the traditional time to play golf. And right. that's your it's lowest rates. It's still beautiful outside. Um, so the reason that this relates back to Palmera is because I know for a fact our best deals are in that November 6th through March 11th time. Oh, right. Like, on. that's a oh. great time to travel as yeah. a Palmyra Sweet. member. So and low sp- rates on travel and low rates at the golf Yeah, course. exactly. Sweet. It's like the get the most out of your vacation. Absolutely. Right. That's what say. Not to mention, it's just a gorgeous time of year yeah. Yeah. on this island. Oh, well, my goodness. And if you think about families, like, you've got two weeks, or normally that's when kids are out. And oh, yeah. Yeah, it's you a get great those time. Spring Plenty of breaks and mm-hmm. uh, yeah. fall breaks and Christmas. And if you if you're here at Christmas, you can golf for free Christmas Day. <laughs> True, <laughs> Christmas classic. You're carrying <laughs> carrying your own bag. That's what I our love family that calls name. it. I think that's great. The Christmas, Christmas classic. classic. That yeah. is fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right, man, that is good information yeah. to have. And you're gonna post that, right? Yes. So I am going to post a blog going further into that to kind of okay. go into like exactly how the weather is, exactly what kind of deals. Actually, probably not what kind of deals you could get, but just knowing that those are the better times to get yeah. deals and awesome. what and the best times to come are. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, listeners, make sure that you are checking out our blog. And what's the blog website? PalmeraVacationClub.com slash blog. Yeah. And it'll also be posted on our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All, right. the things. All the things. All the things. All the things. All right, Chris, what's your last tip? Okay. So my last one comes from personal experience. Okay. Okay. Uh, and it's prep to tip. Oh. Anyway, mm-hmm. I got caught red handed one time. I never carry cash. You know, the closest thing I carry uh, to carrying cash for me is Venmo. Um, <laughs> but I got, I was lucky enough for somebody to take me out for free at Moss Creek. And at the end of the round, they're tossing the cart guys a couple bucks and I didn't have any cash. And I felt so bad about it because these guys are out working, you know, right. and you should throw them a couple dollars. So uh, I found a really great, article on voco.com i'll link that into in the show okay. notes too about like how much you should give to different people but like just you know come with um a handful of ones or you know fives or whatever and yeah toss the bag drop guys take a couple care bucks. of your guys they're yeah if you're you taking out. a caddy please tip your caddy well please. um they're working real hard and uh, uh apparently you're supposed to tip about 50 percent of the caddy fee okay 
Um, you can even tip the caddy master and get the best caddy that way, you know, mm, okay. the, sna- the snack cart people, you know, that just right. come prepared to take care of the people that are working for you. And if you really want to know, like if they ex- expect tips, you can actually call the pro shop and ask, Okay, yeah. just be honest about it, but just uh, be upfront. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when you, when you're going golf and just come with cash, and, right? you know, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, these are things I never think of. I'm never prepared for I'm money never for parking. Either. I'm no, I'm no. Not. So I ne- good like tip. I said, I never have cash. So if you're gonna if you're gonna go, just you know, no. Especially if you know if you well, get on for free. If somebody's mm-hmm. nice enough to take you, like yeah, you know, that use that money you're saving for the for the guys that are working hard. For we you. talked about this a little offline, just because my fiance is an assistant professional, and mm-hmm. so we kind of get hooked up that way sometimes, and it's. You're supposed the people who are working the bag drop and the caddies. They're not. Yeah. They're not the high society of Hilton Head. And they're, not they, get, they're not getting paid. They live <laughs> off those tips. It's just yeah. like right. a waitress. They live off those tips. Right. And yeah, that's yeah. kind of how you can appreciate it. Yeah. Especially if you get a deal, you can take care of right. everyone and else. If you get caught with uh, contraband beer in your bag, exactly, just give it to them. Be nice. <laughs> and they will take it. They will absolutely <laughs> they, take I'm, it. I. <laughs> Even when I was working at the university course in college, it would be like if we found and we weren't, we, there was no alcohol allowed because it was the university, it was right. technically on campus. Right. And the guys like who were my friends would be like, "Yeah, I found six warm Bud Lights and I chugged <laughs> them all." <laughs> That's hilarious. Which, Hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I I feel like I am much better prepared should I decide okay. to uh, take my happy Gilmore self out onto a golf course. That's good. I would I would encourage you to do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. It's good times. Put on some bug spray and, and definitely have. put on bug yeah. spray. Okay. How did we not mention that one? Oh right. I found uh, this is pro tip. I found a friend of mine sent me a suggestion. You can purchase these things on Amazon. They're little stickers to put on your clothes, and they are like DEET-free mosquito repellents. They last for 72 hours. What? I bought 120 of them <laughs> for $10. You guys, I have lived here my entire life. This could well possibly change the game here. Oh, man. Drive will, in, here we come. I will report yeah. back, but I was thinking really? this is going to help me survive my daughter's softball games, and this could oh, be yeah. good for golf. You just put yeah. a sticker on your clothes. No, that's perfect. And you can put it on your bag, too. Yeah. And also, don't wear yellow. My grandma's really into, don't if you wear yellow, yellow the bugs get you. Oh, all oh. right. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. My dad used to, when he would play golf, he used to rub himself down with fabric softener sheets yep. before he went out. That yep. was his tip. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one, too. I used, at my fiance's course, they have uh, these things. I think they're called, like, no bug or bug off. And they're really good. They keep the bugs off. But he's like... Hope they change the color of your clothes. I don't know what they did to your skin. <laughs> oh, that's Jeez. a little stuff. Well, we'll yeah. can we link that? Uh, in the yes, show I'm going to send a link, link to that. That, that one so, sounds a lot better. Uh, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, we'll see how it goes, you guys. If it, seriously, if that works, life in the low country is changing. Well, no joke. Yeah. No joke. Oh, I could, when my kids were little, I would have given anything to just stick something on their back that they couldn't mess with. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. All right. Well, Hope, thank you so much for joining well, us. Thank you all for having this me. This was fantastic. Chris, thank you again. You're welcome. And you guys, <laughs> listeners, um, stay tuned. We are going to have music from a fantastic group as husband and wife. That's literally their name. It's incredible. Yeah. Just no confusion. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Well, listeners, thank you for staying with us. We have a real treat for you today. We are joined, like I said, by the very talented as husband and wife. You guys introduce yourselves. Uh, hi, my name is Gino Miller, and i um, joined with my wife. And I'll hi. Let you introduce yourself. I'm Andrea. <laughs> and our name is kind of funny because we are actually married. Some people might ask, ask that, like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, no, that I, that's what we call ourselves. We yeah. have real names, and then we call ourselves as that's husband and wife. <laughs> so, so it's not like a white stripes thing where you're not really sure. Are they 
married? Are they not married? I know. No, no. no we, we are married. Are. We are married. Yeah, let's, we are. let's be clear. We're legitimately <laughs> married. <laughs> we claim uh, it. <laughs> well, I happened to be scrolling through Facebook one evening like two weeks ago, and a roasting room ad popped up for these two, and I clicked on it. The picture was beautiful. I clicked on it, and I heard their sound, and I thought, so cool. oh, my goodness. We've got Aww. to get these guys Aww. on right now. Aww. And so awesome. thank you so thank much you. for accommodating us. Oh my here. gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> this is our first podcast. Yeah. So we're really, we're really, we're really excited yeah. oh, that you guys welcome. asked us in our in our home home island. Wait, nobody, <laughs> can, nobody can see me dancing. I was yeah, talking. I that's know, a right? shame. <laughs> we need a little YouTube thing. I know. Just that that might scare people. Then. Yeah, so. I know. yeah. People are usually really relieved when they come in and they're like, "This isn't video, is it?" No, it's just audio. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> yeah, you can come record in your pajamas. It doesn't I know, really I almost matter. brought my slippers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about wearing sweats. They're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh That's my awesome. goodness. Well, so tell me a little bit about you guys, like your history yeah, of sure. the island, your history of music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll, I'll start off. I mean, I grew up in church my whole entire life. And uh-huh. I'm a son of a pastor, so nice. my whole life revolved around music inside church. And yeah. um, my parents actually, I, was, I thought I was going to be a drummer, but my parents forced me to play piano, piano. ever since. <laughs> it kind of just stuck with me, and All I started right. writing songs when I was 12 years old, and and um yeah we that's how i got started and then awesome <laughs> so so we uh both like have been doing music since you know with i don't know i joined a theater Kids. group at like in third grade nice and so i started off in theater in northern michigan so that's where i'm like born and raised and then so we've done performing and in and out of a church and for me it was a lot of like uh plays and yeah and oh my gosh variety shows and teaching me performance etiquette while doing like worship awesome. leading here and there yeah then i moved to chicago which that's where gino's from elmhurst mm-hmm. elmhurst yep. illinois mm-hmm. and i moved to chicago UK. and uh for college oh. so i did a music school there and i actually went for worship arts cool i stayed a year and a half but in that um like year and a half we had a mutual friend. Yeah, my friend Jeremiah Six Strings. Shout, shout out to out. him. <laughs> we love shout out. I love yeah. that name. Shout what out. a great name. Jeremiah yeah, Six Strings. But his actual him, name is Sutton, name. but we call him Six, Six Strings because he plays guitar. <laughs> this kid is phenomenal. Because he was basically the one that got us together. Got us together. He's All our right. mutual friend, yeah. the link that linked yeah. us. He walked in the room. He walked into the, um, like the practice, practice room. room. And it was like, oh my goodness. And then he called me. I was like, Gino, you got to hear this girl sing. So maybe. Because I like, was angelic. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and modest. Yeah. <laughs> but about two weeks imagine. later, she, from the north side of Chicago, yeah. comes all the way out to the west side of Chicago. On a bus. On no a bus idea train. where I was. Yeah. And, and we met. And then after that, things just kind of just took off. Right yeah, and I walked into his dad's church because that's where we had like band rehearsal, and right. I was like, "Oh snap, that is a very attractive man!" On the <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow! And so we all we all, were such good friends for a year as I was still in Chicago, and then um, then we fell in love and then Wait, started I have to dating. Say this. What? I have to say this before Don't we even continue. I have to no. because every time we tell this story, I have to say it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love it. When so she originally, when she so originally came out, and we started the band, quote unquote, and uh, she was like, "Let me say this to start off: none of us can fall in love with each other." That's what she said. I mean, what a bold oh, thing said, to say! Oh, like, what the it. heck? I think it was my, it was my thinking, like. Like, we got to be, like, all in the music. Like, be professional. Right. But and she then... didn't know that I was going to put the moves on her. Yeah. <laughs> well played, sir. Well I played. know. I know. <laughs> yeah. So then we were in Chicago and um, dating. And so music kind of fell, obviously, a little way off. Way yeah. off. We did not re- were that musical when we were dating because that was not top priority. It was more like getting to know each other and everything. Right. <laughs> So then the real story is my mom was down in Hilton Head and six months after she moved here, she actually got breast cancer. Oh. So I moved down for about two months um, to help her through chemo and just yeah. be here. And then um, we both got offered. Well, I, me, I'm, go I ahead. came down a vacation down here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and Andrew's like, well, why don't you just help us lead worship on a Sunday? So I helped these guys out leading worship, and then next thing you know, they offered us a part-time job. Yeah, this uh, is Hilton Head Allen Community yes. Church. Oh, yeah, oh, so the Cullens. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so we shout yeah. out to Todd and Cynthia, Colin, my yeah. real homies. <laughs> 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 they are awesome. Yeah, they are. Oh my gosh, they. So our church is really like yes, yeah, like 
launched us yeah. in, in a huge way. So we were dating all in this time. Okay. And then so Gino buy, buys a one-way ticket, literally, like, out of faith, down here. Um, wow. And, and in a, within a month and a half, we were engaged and married. Whoa. Oh, wait, wait. It gets then... better. It gets better. <laughs> Three weeks later, we find out we're pregnant. pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> So, honeymoon baby yeah. to our sweet boy Noah. So, we are now, yeah. like, after that year of just, wow, we just got married and have Whirlwind. a baby. And it's like, wow, what is life? And really have had just setting up life, like yeah. apartment, car, getting life happening. Adulting. Adulting. That's totally <laughs> the millennial oh, word. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. Adulting. Absolutely. <laughs> then music really started to play a part and was like, all right, well, how do we make this happen? When we right. have a family and we have goals and dreams and really feel like this is our calling to – Use yeah. our gifts, and um, so we double as worship leaders and as as husband and wife. And so we do we play our original music, and so like right. a huge part of our hearts mm-hmm. is to share songs and storytelling with other people and different yeah. artists and local artists, and just making connections that way. We yeah. just like thrive off of that. And all of our songs are based off our faith background, so that's what we really thrive off of is yeah. just being able yeah. to um, express our faith in different settings that's not necessarily like church, yeah. the mm-hmm. church setting. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah. So people might mm-hmm. ask us, are you Christian music? Because they'll see us leading worship, which we love and our hearts are oh, still yeah. there. But we're like, no, it's not really. It's inspired by faith, uh, but yeah. it's, right. you know, music that anybody could listen to and right. not be like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> so. well, little U2-esque there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That is That's awesome. the most famous, like, non-Christian Christian band I can think of. Right. <laughs> well, wait, and we, like, kind of, like, if people were to ask us about, like, who, what do you compare yourself? A little bit of Johnny Swim. I don't know if you oh, know I them. love in Johnny and out. Swim. They're yes. in and out of, like, Church World and, like, what they do on their own. We yeah. really love them. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, like, our... All right, I'll have to check what that we're out. like, yeah. Oh, that, my mom so and I fun. have told you about them before, right. but oh, maybe a little They're kind of weirdos here. like us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're we're a fan of the weird. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you guys play a song for us? Yeah, we yeah. would love to. So, so yeah, go ahead. Honey. Oh yeah, the first song um, that we're about to do is <laughs> as also we this was our first um, well is our first single, okay. and I recorded the, well I wrote this song when I was about fifteen years old, and um, it just came to life when we got together. So. Like it was um, meant to be or something. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. Yeah. So first single, you can find the music video on YouTube as well. And so that's kind of our first first launching pad. Yeah. Okay. The title of it is Words to Say. So. Yeah. Yeah. You ready, babe? Yeah, let's sing this. shines bright when you're around 
my eyes they're on you they're fixed upon you and in my doing this right or am I wrong I will sing this song all the day long so please give me the words to say So for you So for you and give me the words to say and give me the things to do So To those not good for me And I'm totally torn Between you and me That was, great. That was beautiful Fantastic. Thank you. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was beautiful. I think Mandy was having a moment there. Yeah. <laughs> like, eyes closed. Yeah, like, yeah, like Janet's all yeah. beautiful. <laughs> that was awesome. That was all thank, you that's for bringing, <laughs> thank you for bringing church right here to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That is Thanks, awesome. guys, for yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So, well, you talked a little bit about Johnny yeah. Swim and them, but who, who were your influences, like, growing up? Who, who oh, did gosh. you love to listen to? <laughs> I went thing, through. I, I went through like different phases. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Um, it helps you be more well-rounded. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, so I did. I, I grew up dancing to Kirk Franklin. <laughs> did, I, did, I no, I, did I throw you for a loop there? <laughs> no, uh, I had that. I had that CD. That was. The, uh, I had the, uh, that was one of his best CDs. Yeah, yeah. GP, are you with me? Yeah, oh yeah, we have a church that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Uh, out to Kurt Franklin. We oh appreciate you, dog. <laughs> oh, for real. I don't know, but like uh, my but musical but influence didn't like start till really later. I mean, I listened yeah. to like. Yeah. I don't even want to say. <laughs> it's like that's it's fair. like. That's but fair. now I don't know. Now I'm like listening to more eclectic things mm-hmm. um, and different different genres that I feel like influence a lot. Yeah. And again, like that that crossover. Gino, you can talk more on like yeah, gospel I mean, and how that. Well, yeah. I mean. You. I, grew up playing gospel playing like church hymns and mm-hmm. all that fun stuff but like when i got in like my high school years i started like to venture out and try to grab different things like mm-hmm. like dave matthews i mean i don't even it's know a little, like it's punk just, rock yeah in punk there rock too. Yeah, yeah i mean yeah. when middle school i don't know but system of a down like i was listening, <laughs> oh, yeah. Gosh, i was listening wow. to everything so it's just like yeah. my whole um style yeah. of music has like morphed into that and, like, and using... we're big like movie soundtrack people. Oh yeah, so yeah. Oh, so we gosh. like that type of thing and and little jazz here and there yeah. and a lot of oldies. Oh yeah, love some Ray Charles. Love Ray West. Charles, right on. I mean love those are, those are classics for sure. But yeah, yeah. yeah. little and like newer ones. Leon Le Havis is like one of my oh, yeah. favorite vocalists right now. You can't you can't we can't do this and not mention what? Matt Corby. Oh yeah, he's, he's um, cool. That's a huge inspiration to me. And yeah. um yeah, I mean just to go back on the movie soundtrack, I love like Hans Zimmer and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, James goodness. Horner and yeah. all those guys. Yeah. Um yeah, so I mean I love yeah. music. That moves yeah. you for yeah. sure. Absolutely. Side note, did yeah. you know that Sufjan Stevens is is uh up for an Oscar? What? Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, like the, the Oscars this Sunday. Yeah, and and not for the Tanya Harding song because the Tanya Harding song is not about is not in the movie Tanya Harding. It's from um, the Daniel Day Lewis movie. I forget what it's called. Oh, okay. But yeah, do you guys oh, know Sufjan? About... Sufjan Stevens. Yeah, is he sw- is he Swedish? No, no he's, wait. Uh, he has a funny name, but he's American. Is and, he? <laughs> um, I don't know why. I'm not sure. He... Maybe I have some Swedish he's, friends that you he's know. America. Yeah. He's and he's from he's, Maine. He's great. Um, he's very. I mean, if you like indie rock at all, mm-hmm. he's great. He at one point did this project where he was going to do an album about every state, and he started Whoa. with Michigan, oh, and then he did Illinois. Illinois. Oh wow! It is and one it, of my top five albums of all time. Yeah. Wait, did he do fifty Period. songs? N- no, no. He, he stopped after Illinois. He, uh, no, he, he only did, did two. He did a five song EP for the five boroughs in like oh, Brooklyn true. and New right. York and stuff, yeah. and then oh, he has a couple cool. other. But he's one of my yeah, he's friends. great. Yeah, his name looks like Sufjan, yeah. S-U-F-J-A-N, yeah. but uh, yeah, check him out. Oh. Sorry, side note. Yeah. Yeah. No, I heard that no on NPR idea. today. We, I love, we love music soundtracks. Our oh, kids yeah. are oh. musical obsessed too, so we yeah. like all yeah, of that. Mike. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not far. Yeah, and I grew up, I was a theater, a musical theater kid awesome. too, so that was like oh. a huge part of our... Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You guys have a good round... Uh, yeah, well, experience of everything. We're a little, we're a little all over, but yeah, we're really you know, all over the place. But and I think that that's our, our sound and like how we write is starting to develop too. Like we're yeah. starting to write folky songs when we've been calling ourselves like gospel singer songwriters. Fusion so, and yeah, that's we are nice. this like interesting it's, blend. And yeah. I think sounds change for artists over time. Mm. Oh, absolutely. You know, like if you listen to a certain like you know artist that you're influenced to, your sound's right. gonna start to kind of morph and maybe in their writing and that's right. what's new really sounds cool come out that yeah. yes. So I'm I'm looking forward to a lot of the new stuff that we've been trying to put together because yeah. it's it's different. Yeah. So again, we only have one single out, but this is this is like the back work. This summer we are in the process of doing An our EP. EP. So that's nice. Crazy. We're like in that stage. We're like, hmm, we have 7,000 songs. Um, <laughs> which ones do anybody want to hear? I don't know. <laughs> which yeah. ones do I want to hear? <laughs> right. Which, yeah, which ones, ones are you, you willing want? to yeah, sing yeah. Yeah. over yeah. and over and over again? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. That's so a that's, real question. that's a fun, it's a fun stage, but that's, so we're in the beginning stages of that. So we're super excited. That's um, cool. That yeah. Are you guys, are you guys recording with Kyle? You mentioned you, your friends we, with Kyle. We we're friends love, with Kyle. they're awesome. Yeah. They're awesome. We actually have a studio connection in Chicago. So that's oh, okay. where we, where we recorded our first song nice. we're we're um, talking about doing our ep kind of between hilton head and and musicians in hilton head and then like us in chicago so we're yeah right. again nice. beginning stages we're, of trying to yeah out, how do yeah, we awesome. how do we make it happen but the yeah. internet man you can do I know, anything now you can, yeah. you you can really do can. anything yeah. yeah right on we have a cellist that will come up from floor florida, oh, florida yeah, this summer amazing She's incredible, and so we're like trying to figure out how do we get her in the studio, and then like bounce yeah. it to Chicago, mm-hmm. mix it there. But again, like yeah. technology, you actually can do this. Yeah, yeah. So for that's sure. totally doable. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Well, would you guys play your other song that you oh, have yeah, prepared? Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. So we actually did a house concert. Have you guys ever been to one or heard of those? Like a house concert uh, or like you literally play music in Yeah, like a, house? a living room show. Yeah. We yeah. had yeah. pretty darn play one at our Yeah, after they put their record out, we awesome. uh, we did one in our living room for That's this podcast. We did two episodes. That's so cool. Have you guys? We're coming to your house. Yeah, We're put coming. out the EP yes. and then We're inviting we'll do ourselves one. over. Oh, no, you are yeah. <laughs> the invitation stands. Yeah. I love it. Well, we actually just did our first one, and this was a song that they like asked us to do the, again. The, the like, an at encore the, of it, and I wasn't the, even expecting it. The whole end yeah. of the time, they were like, We want to hear that song again. We actually forced them to sing it with us. Yeah. <laughs> we, we may do that to you, but just don't give them a We won't do it. This is our, one of our fun little ukulele tunes that we try to incorporate into yeah. our set. And, I love it. I wrote this one. I wrote it. Make the EP. Yeah. It might make might, it. Yeah, it might make well, it. if it's You'll being requested, I mean, yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stuff. there's a precedent. No, and listeners. You yeah, so I, I, wrote like this, I, wrote, I wrote this song. Andrea let me borrow her ukulele, like when mm-hmm. we were dating in Chicago, and I literally like locked myself in my room for like five hours and taught myself how to play ukulele. Oh my god! And, uh, I know yeah, he's just... so cool. <laughs> I am. That is cool. commitment, man. Yes. Yes. That's fantastic. Play it. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this was. I, if I want to give like a kind of brief background about it, it was just like a period of time in my life where um, I was just looking for the future and looking for something new. Right. And uh, this relationship is what caused it. So it's kind of about us 
in a way. So. See? Thank you. Right <laughs> I wrote a song for love For the ones who haven't given up There's still time for you There's still time Just wait and see. Yep. This is the dance break. <laughs> I wrote a song for you. Thank you. <laughs> for the ones who face the cold truth there's still time for you there's still time for you you just wait and see I wrote a song for me Who feels like there's no place to be There's still time for you There's still time for you wait and see <laughs> that was awesome thank Fantastic. you little diddy I love so it great. that is beautiful your harmonies are yeah, awesome for sure oh, excellent so thank you <sighs> Chris do you have any Civil questions a little Civil War-esque oh, yeah, that, that's 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 War them. they rock too oh, yeah. I kind of forgot yeah. about I that for a minute them. yeah, yeah. They do a version of Billie Jean that is just oh, really, um, really? Oh, God. You know, anyone yeah. who does a cover of that and like crushes it, yeah. I have high respect. What, yeah, what you, Corey Henry. Corey Henry. Oh my God! He's gosh. an incredible uh, keyboard player. If you guys player. don't know, I'm oh, looking up. Corey gosh. Henry is simply okay. amazing. I think anytime you do a cover of Michael Jackson, Any, anything, it, like you have to kill it or just You're go. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of think that's why we haven't done one. Yeah. Or we may I, never. So. I won't touch any Michael Jackson. Oh, I barely want to touch any Ray Charles. Yeah, for oh sure. But, um, yeah, for sure. it takes a lot of guts to do that. Yeah, it really. That's does. proper it respect. Really does. I feel yeah, I that so. though. That's, that's that's the way it needs to be. That's the top. That's the top of the food chain right there. Oh my gosh. Guy. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so. Where can people listen to you guys? Yeah. Um, give you money? Yeah. Oh. Buy one of your adorable <laughs> shirts that you have? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so all of that, um, you can go on our website, which is okay. www.ashusbandandwife.com. So you can actually purchase shirts there, and we okay. will personally personally mail them mail out to you, you nice. with a little nice. cute note because you're awesome. Uh-huh. If you want a shirt, or come to one of our shows. So. Yeah. March 17th. Is can one we of talk about that? Show. Yes, yeah. you absolutely can. Yeah. so exciting. And we're so honored. <laughs> the Roasting Room is like our favorite. Oh, those kids are so amazing. So quaint. Oh, yeah. Like, 
Like it's just perfect. the it's perfect the venue for down, down here. here. Yeah. And yeah. we've always spot. been like slightly obsessed with it. Yeah. And like we started off as doing their like singer songwriter showdown mm-hmm. yeah. nights. So we just went one time and had so much fun. Um, then we were... We didn't win, by the way. We, we lost. We didn't win. No. Uh, there's, <laughs> I've heard those okay. things are really good. They yeah, are they're good. Amazing. They're totally they're a amazing. fun yeah. night. You have... And I, I totally want to go Yeah, back, at one point when they were hear. talking about yeah. it, I thought, oh, I'm going to go do that. And then yes. I heard how good everybody was. Don't was like, do nope, it. Never mind. You have <laughs> to. No, you have I'm not to. doing that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, like, but, and then so, what did, how did it happen? Jordan asked us? Yeah, or yeah, somebody? Jordan. We yeah. got paired up with Painter and Poet, who were yeah. a fun, uh-huh. uh, they're also husband and wife duo, and yeah. so they're back in Texas now, but they were from Savannah, and so we got paired up to oh. open for them. Mm. So we had a bunch of our friends and family come, and um, it was a great time. That yeah. that show awesome. was sold out, yeah, packed out, had so much fun. Oh, good. And then they were like, yeah, you want to do a headline show? We're like, um, that would be an honor. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yes. so we are so excited to say that. We are coming back to the roasting room. March Just 17th. us. We've got an incredible Daryl uh, Horn is going to be there. He's yeah, no. an incredible local musician as well. He plays every instrument under the sun. Who's been such a supporter from the beginning. Yeah. Awesome. And then Jeremiah. I got my brother coming down yeah. from Chicago. Amazing drummer. Nice. Yeah, he's he's going to share a song, too. And he's also a songwriter as well. Mm-hmm. And, and he is... Um, for lack of better words, a dangerous guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm scared of the things so that he can do. He just graduated yeah. high school, and yeah. he's oh, pretty man. incredible. So yeah. we are yeah. the future is bright. Well. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to so. be a fun night. It's 21 and up, March 17th, um, 8 to 10. $10 tickets. You can get those at the roasting room. And right. don't wait. Yeah, it's yeah, like, I've heard they're scarce. Like, ta- like if you want a table, you gotta, you really you gotta, gotta get it. You gotta we go we like, today. Like, we have like four tables. Like four left. Four tables left, and then right. everything else and would be like. I'm ordering mine soon. today. But, yeah. First come, first serve seating. So. We're not. We'll definitely have all that in the show notes. We'll make sure yeah, to blast cool. it on social yeah, media. Yeah, thank we're you excited. So much. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, so we'll do, we'll do that. That's kind of our like last big show, or else we're really excited to share like what I talked about the house concerts. That's been a really fun thing. Yeah. Um. So we'll do like different people's. Homes. Yeah, we love that idea. We're so willing to travel to do that yeah. too. That's always yeah. been like something that we wanted to do is just travel and, mm-hmm. and yeah. just do music full Sweet. time. And yeah, that is so that is the, that, main that's goal. the goal. So, so, but typically, I mean, we we lead worship on uh, at our church. Okay, um, like all all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. so you can see us there. Come on by <laughs> almost every Sunday. So we'll be there. But really, we're again like back in that phases of the EP. So yeah, we, ha- we don't have a ton of shows booked, and we're okay. not like playing restaurant gigs. So. We're yeah. just kind of focusing Focusing. on writing and and, um, that'll be further on in the process so you guys planning on like a fall release for the ep yeah fall we're hoping we're hoping by um, i would love like august around that time that's what we're hoping for so we're really about to go like to work after this yeah i know a house concert (laughs) yeah Yeah. we're just like trying to book our our travel plans to see when we like literally just before coming here (laughs) and and working with our with our sweet toddler so that's yes that's always fun i know oh (laughs) but yeah you can get our music anywhere because i know you mentioned that you can get our music on spotify itunes and uh, we have a couple videos on youtube we definitely have words to say there Okay. And then we have a song that we actually did at the roasting room um, that's on YouTube as well. Cool. Nice. And you can follow us at as husband and wife on mm-hmm. YouTube. So and Instagram, yeah. Facebook, all those all the places. And we're always on we're those just things. So, I mean, especially Andrea. I'm not on it as much. <laughs> but oh Andrea my gosh. is like we all have is our like strengths. Promo- <laughs> is like the promoting Instagram person. Instagram is a strength. That's very. Yeah. I mean, that's I so good. like to consider myself an MD, but not really. You like to say Instagram was my strength. Oh yeah, Lord. it is. <laughs> At the it's moment, that's a good strength. Listen, that's a, a millennial. I said I millennium. Know. That's very marketable, though. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're better singers than talkers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm better player than talking and singing. Oh, my goodness. Well, listeners, we're going to make sure that all of that is listed in the show notes. And if you are listening to this um, on Facebook and everything, you can find it. all the links will be in the bold print underneath. That's so. true. Our producer, Laurie, does a good job of tagging she everybody. She tags everything. And then all the stuff is on the website. And yeah. Awesome. So, again, you guys, if you're going to be in town... March 17th, you need to go to the roasting room yes. and listen. 
Um, and if not, then you need to get on the internet and buy some singles and watch some videos. Buy some t-shirts. And buy some yeah. really awesome Or invite us to your t-shirts. house. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. We'll sing for you in uh, your living yeah, room. Yeah, that is fantastic. <laughs> this is a good place for that kind of gig, right? I feel like. Yeah. This is... It really is. It really is. Yeah, yeah, you guys may have hit on something new. I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank oh, you. I have one more question. I yes. almost forgot. Oh. oh, my gosh. So you guys haven't been here that long, but you've been That's here okay. longer than six months, so mm-hmm. you're really a local. Um, Ooh, but we wow. ask oh, everyone yes. to give a tip yeah. to tourists or visitors. Mm-hmm. Where is some place you know they need to go? Okay. Yeah. We, I we have like two places. I have we, two we, main places that just... Well, three, actually, that popped into my oh, brain. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Can, right on. Yeah. One, one, if you come to Hilton Head Island, you must, you must go to Java Burrito. Oh, oh that oh, place it's good. is good. Like. Amazing. Shout out to Java Burrito. You yeah. can tag them, too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's like farm-to-table I'll, Moe's. It's, yeah, it's it delicious. is. Like, yes. Delicious. I want to be sponsored. <laughs> it's so go there and eat. That would be so good. <laughs> yeah. But um, Lord, yeah, so I can go absolutely. There and, eat. and then in um, uh, another place that's in basically that same plaza is also Porter and Pig. They have yeah. the oh, best. Oh yeah, we haven't been there yet. Oh, you gotta go. Ivy and Doug, they rock. Yeah, and they're okay. a married couple who runs that um, yeah, cool joint. Amazing. They've got fun amazing. music that's there, but it's such a cool spot. They've got it's really games homey and homey. Yeah, yeah. I hear and good stuff about the great. food. Yeah, oh, drinks are that amazing. That VLT is yeah probably the best on the island. Really good. It's refreshing. I, I never had a BLT that was refreshing. That BLT is refreshing. <laughs> wow. really good. Oh, I know. Gosh. Okay, wait, and, and then, then top it all off, dessert at the Purple Cow. Oh, yeah, Purple Cow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Purple Cow. Yes. Bernie yes. over there, she's pretty awesome. Yeah. She Shout makes out. Some, to Bernie. She, she makes some awesome desserts over there. She she's makes gluten-free a, stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I, I think producer Lori uh, shared a um, an article where they were tagged as the best donut spot in Ooh. south carolina in south carolina now i think mandy would have would say all joy is oh, all amazing, joy donuts in bluffton know. is pretty good but, but i've uh, yet yeah so, I've yet I mean, to there, eat there's, one there. there's press oh, yeah. out there backing you guys oh, up okay. yeah, well, well, oh good that we have good taste <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are making me hungry and then co- we love we're coffee drinkers oh yeah. Uh, yeah when we got married i made andrea coffee drinker i would did like to say know? yeah <laughs> but uh or we did love... my toddler do that to me yeah, yeah. yeah. Like to both. i'm gonna go with both go with yeah, both yeah, yeah. or i'll plead the fifth i don't know <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we love Maywood Davis. Yeah, um, so they're that, located in, yes. in Healthy Habits. Yeah, oh, another tour. place I have never been, but yes. I've got to get there. Yes. So where is, where all is of our this? things are food related. It's, yeah, <laughs> that's like the it's main good. part of our. I know. Yeah, we right? talked, that's what we talked yes. about. We no. love food. food. <laughs> um, that but, is weird. Yeah, that's it's like like right across the street from Northridge. Yeah, it's on Matthews. Yeah, uh, well, they were they were in the old log cabin. Yes. Across yes. From, uh, yes. Yes. Yeah, across from Hillsborough. Coffee habit, so you can get a really good salad and yes. you can get amazing coffee. I oh, heard their right salads on, we'll are out. incredible. Coffee yeah. is so good. Oh, oh yes, and coffee. good coffee. Love yes, mm-hmm. good coffee. And he's always creating something new. Yeah. Alex is awesome there too. So yeah. we shout out, all... shout out. <laughs> That's right. Get it all in there. Those are all of our seriously top favorite places. That's why they're all of our friends because we go there so much. <laughs> There's going to be so many links under this podcast. I know, right? Oh yes, it's good luck, be. producer. Go Larry. and enjoy. <laughs> go and enjoy. Absolutely. And tell them as husband and wife sent you. Yeah. I, I for sure will. Right so oh my fun. goodness. Well, thank you guys so oh, no, much for coming so in this. Was so fun. I am so looking forward to our living room concert. It's going Yay. to be awesome. Yes, yeah, for sure. It's gonna happen. Ooh, We're gonna too. talk Thank about you so it on the much, podcast. Well, that. so guys, make sure that you get out and hear these guys. It's just beautiful music. It made the mm-hmm. hair on my arms. Many had a moment. I had a little bit of a moment. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for Thanks sharing so everything much. with appreciate us. It. We appreciate it. And uh, Man, this has been really fun. All right. Uh, thank you guys for listening to our podcast. Um, make sure that you read the blog about golf. Yep. Um, and get out there and don't be like me. Play some golf and learn <laughs> about it. Um, I promise We're you. We're going to get you out there. You, you won't hate it. Uh-huh. I see you there. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Um, and thank you again to us, husband and wife, for sharing with us. Yep. 
Um, thank you to Palmera Vacation Club for being our sponsor. Guys, make sure that you are liking, reviewing, sharing, everything about subscribing. this. Subscribing. Why do I forget the most important part? Subscribe. Um, to this podcast on iTunes Podcast, on Stitcher, on Breaker, on wherever Breaker, it is. my personal favorite. I like Breaker because you can send me a message on That's it. That's true. Um, just make sure that you are sharing this with your friends and let us know what you think. If you have any questions or recommendations or places we should also eat, yeah. <laughs> um, please, I like the food recommendations. You can hit me up at Mandy at HiltonHeadIslandCast.com. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Bye.